Hi guys. Um, I actually haven't sat down and I've probably filmed a video in a while. My head's been all messed up. I'm extremely iron deficient lately, so I'm so tired. Um, I need to get an iron infusion soon. <laughs> but it takes so much time and money and I'm just, meh. So I'm just like sleeping all the time. But today I'm finally doing my all about my Rook piercing. Um, I got this done on 21st of August. So it's now December. Um, what day is it? I think it's the 11th. I think it's the 7th. Or I think it's the 8th. It's the start of <laughs> December. So that's about four months old. About three. I, let's go with three months old. Um, and it's still healing. Um, it is a thick bit of cartilage. Let me get in close for you. That's what it looks like. Still healing. Um, I can like kind of play with it. But I don't want to too much because it is, yeah, like I said, still healing. My body does take a fair while to heal. Um, so with me, I know it's always like when people say it's going to take like this much to this much time to heal. I know mine's always going to be the longest time to heal, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently dealing with that. Um, but it's at the point now where I think it's very close to being completely healed. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, so I'll just like talk about the whole thing. Um, so when I went to get it done, um, it was my first piercing after COVID. So after, well, actually no, I got my tongue pierced like after all the shops opened back up. Um, this was my first piercing back at my normal um, piercing place. So I was super excited because um, I've had my industrial for uh, a year now. So I really wanted to get um, something on my other side to kind of even it out. And I do really like it. I want more, but I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with any more healing piercings right now. So I'm just gonna hold off until next year. Anyway, so I went back, um, filled out all the, uh, the documentations. And then um, I always ask if I can lay down. I'm saying I'm a lot in this video. I am so sorry. My brain's not, like I said, I'm extremely deficient on iron. My brain's not working. I'm very tired. So might take a few arms. <laughs> might take a few arms. Might say um a fair bit in this video. I'm so sorry if that annoys you. Um. <laughs> anyway, whenever I go to get a piercing, I always ask if I can lay down. I just, I'm a big baby. I love piercings, but I'm a, I'm a giant baby. Uh, I feel the pain. <laughs> and if I can lay down so I don't like twitch or anything, it makes me feel a lot more comfortable. So I asked if I could lay down and she said yes. So I laid down on my side. She um, figured out where it was gonna go. She said that I had a very nice rook area, which was nice to hear. And then it was really quick, one, two, three and she put it through. It was pretty painful. Um, yeah, uh, it was like as painful as I was expecting it to be. It did make me go, ah, oh yeah. Um, Cause it is, um, it is a fairly thick bit of cartilage. I know a lot of people usually say that when you get a piercing through there, you can hear the cartilage crunch. I couldn't hear the cartilage crunch. Uh, all I could hear was my mouth going ow <laughs> uh yeah it was yeah it was pretty painful she cleaned it for me and it got so swollen oh, so swollen and it was very sore very very sore but I actually forgot about it the next day I think that's what I'm like with a lot of my piercings now whenever I get them I kind of just forget about them it's not kind of like the excitement as my first couple but I forgot about it the next day but as usual I have this little Piece of paper here so I got it pierced on the 21st of the 8th 2020 um, and the notes that she wrote for me was clean two days two two times daily no twisting downsides in eight to tw ten weeks obviously it's been a fair bit longer than eight to ten weeks but I just it's not for me not ready to get changed yet um yeah just not ready so I know when it'll be ready for downsizing and it's not ready yet but when it is I guess I'll show you uh, Hopefully soon, I think in the next like 
because I have heard that it can take three to six months to heal and I think so probably in the next two months it will be healing hopefully um, and she says sleep with a travel pillow and I have my travel pillow so I have this from this side my industrial is still healing but I use this on both sides and and that's probably why it's taking a little bit longer to heal because I keep on accidentally like just sleeping on a normal pillow. So um, that keeps making it flare up. Oh yeah, I've actually been taking a lot of photos and videos during the healing process. So um, I will put the videos in it now with the like how many days or weeks after it's been. So I'll put those all in now. But I got my rook done today and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm also sorry if I look like a bit dodgy. I just took off my fake lashes. This is what it looks like. I'm so happy I finally got it done because now I feel like my ears are a little bit more, this one was a little bit nasty, but it's okay. Um, I feel like that they're like a little bit evened out now. Like there's a piece of my top for both. Um, did it hurt, always hurts. I'm also a baby, um, but it's totally worth it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't like hurt too bad now. It's more like, oh yeah, got that done today. Nothing really to talk about. Um, I think it's a little swollen. Um, it's a very long bar, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you when I next check in. Okay, so it's day two. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I've decided that the first few days I'll check in um, and then after that I'll probably check in like once a week because I feel like the first few days are like crucial for the healing time um, and that's where like the major things happen like um, swelling and everything so I'll check in on all of those. Um, Last night's sleep was um, pretty easy. I bought two pillows, um, like travel pillows now. So I can, on my right side, I can sleep on one and then on my left side, I can sleep on one too. Um, it was pretty easy because it's like in the ear, it's um, easier to like get it in the hall. And I didn't really wake up um, from any pain. <clears throat> Cleaning was easy this morning and last night. Um, it's not really bloody or anything, which is pretty interesting. Um, I do find it a little bit hard to clean it though in the sense that I can't see it. So what I started doing this morning was I'd clean it and then I'll take a photo of it um, to make sure that everything's okay. Um, but yeah, so far so good. If I look really weird, it's because I haven't put makeup on like on this <laughs> section because I'm going to be wearing a mask as soon as I get to work today. And they also have a little friend, look at that friend, it's so nice. Um, but update on my Rook, um, it's doing pretty well, cleaning again, like I haven't really found any gunk or anything, cleaning's been pretty well, this is day three by the way. Um, last night it was pretty painful, um, I kept on waking up throughout throughout the night um, just because I kept on finding myself um, I, not getting my ear in the um, travel pillow hole um, so that was pretty painful and annoying I'll show you what it looks like if I can <laughs> it's doing pretty good it looks a bit red um, yesterday all day though I had a migraine on my left side of my head, which is usually where I usually get my migraines, they're usually on the left side of my head. Um, but yeah, I had a migraine from the night before, all day yesterday, until I went to sleep yesterday. Um, so I don't know if that has any, I don't know if that was just a coincidence, it was probably just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would take note of that. But I'm going to work today, so I will pop back in tomorrow to see how it's looking. Alright, um, I'm going to make up on a look gross. I'm just doing a cleaning day, which I'm vlogging as well. Um, so keep, uh, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep an eye out <laughs> for that video. It probably won't be fun at all.
But anyway, um, it's day five. Um, I did miss day four because yesterday I just didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to. I just needed the day to just, yeah, stay off social media, everything. But it's not much of a difference. I just blew a bubble. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, still healing. It hurts quite a bit. I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, um, not really any difference. I'm still cleaning it twice a day. I haven't really been able to see any difference with the cleaning. Um, it's still like the cotton tips are still clean. Um, I did get like a little bit of like a scabby thing. A very tiny bit yesterday last night um ever since it's been fine um still hurts like even just like my hair not my hair but like just like a little tap and it will hurt which is completely understandable it's only day five and it's gonna be a three month healing three months two to three months i'm gonna have a look at that again um but yeah still sleeping on my donut pillows and yeah that is all Okay, this is day six. Um, yeah, it's, it's not doing too good. I don't know what it looks like, um, but by the feel of it, it's not doing too good. Um, it feels like an intense, intense bruise. Um, I did get like a kind of like quick look of it in the mirror because it's like hard to see that side. Um, and it looks like I might need to up my cleaning. So I think what I'm going to do is from now on, I'm going to not only try to clean it with the Q-tip, I'm also going to spray it as well. Because it is very hard to clean that. Because you can't see it. But this is what it looks like. I'm excited to look back to see if it looks completely fucked. I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, so I'm going to up the cleaning a little bit. Um, yeah, hurts a lot. I know I said yesterday that it was day six. Well, that would make today day seven. Wait, no, I said the day before was day six. Well, that would mean today is day eight, but like it's been a whole week. So this is what it looks like at a week. I think it's still gone pretty well. Um, actually hurting a lot less today. All right, so this is, it's been two weeks and five days since I got my rock pierced. Um, I'll show you what it is looking like. Um, I noticed last night I was able to like sleep on my normal pillow rather than sleep on the donut pillow without it like hurting or anything. So that's a good sign. So yeah, that's about like, the, the three week mark. Um, uh, it was pretty, like, sore last week. Like, even, like, my hair pressing on it was, like, annoying and painful. Um, but it seems like suddenly it's just, like, doing really well. Um, I'm cleaning it in the shower, um, in the morning and at night as well. So, I don't, like, fully clean it in the shower. I just kind of, like, rinse it and just, yeah, just, like, get rid of anything that's sitting in there. Um... I found that it is really, it's like an awkward spot to clean um, because like it just gets like any gunk and stuff just kind of get caught or like it'll get pushed in there and because like you can't really see your ear, like that side of your ear, it's hard to like know if it's all cleaned. Um, but it's, yeah, it's doing, it's doing well. So yeah. So yeah, like I said, this is like three months in. I still clean it twice daily. Uh, there's been a couple of days, like now it's at the point where it's like, I'm not too stressed if I missed a cleaning schedule, if that makes sense. So there's been a couple of times where I've just forgotten to clean it at night. Um, and that's okay, it's at the point where it's not going to be drastic if I forget a cleaning on a day. Uh, but yeah, so 
hopefully it will be healed soon once it's completely healed i'll do like a little update and i'll change it out i'm not going to even try to change it out when it's ready it's my nails i can't even change out my nose piercings um i'll go to my piercer and get it changed out but i'm planning on so i don't want any more piercings until next year but i've already planned on what i'm going to get um it's not gonna be a surprise i'm gonna get my vertical labrette done first and then i'm gonna get my two girlies <laughs> obviously i'm not gonna be able to show those um but when i do eventually get them done i'll probably post a lot of po i will post a lot of photos on OnlyFans. so if you want to see them once they're done probably be first month first couple of months into 2021 follow me on uh only fans to see those um i will put a video like talking about the process and everything as well but yeah so i hope you liked this video if you did like and subscribe uh give me a comment if you want to chat i guess <laughs> i'm very lonely but if i don't reply it's probably because i'm sleeping all right bye <laughs>